Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn how to write a Python program to count the number of even and odd numbers from a series of numbers. So given a series of numbers or the sequence of numbers either separated by comma or either separated by space. So you have to count the number of even and odd numbers in the series. So let's try to solve this using a Python program. So let's ask a user to enter the series of numbers. So let's take a variable that is series equals to. So let me use input function over here and uh, let's ask enter series of numbers. Let's give colon and in the braces let's ask a user to separated by comma or space. Let's view separated by comma and uh, yeah so once the user enters the number so it will be of string format. So let's use a inbuilt function to split the numbers that is using a comma. So once we split the numbers so that will be a sequence of uh, string. So we need to convert it into an integer. So let's use a map function to convert all the series of string to a series of integers so let's use map and give int over here so this will convert all the items of series to an integer and uh, let's store this in a tuple so let's convert this to a tuple as a final item that is a sequence or the series of numbers stored in tuple so once we get the series so we need to count the odd and even numbers so let's uh, initialize both the counters so let's take two variables that is odd underscore count and even underscore count let's take first as even underscore count comma odd count and let's initialize both to zero and zero so these are the two counter variables that i'll be taking so once we take the counters so let's traverse all the items of series and uh, check if the item is even or odd based on that we will increment the counters that is these values so let's use for item in the series variable and uh, we need to check if the item is even so let's uh, perform the modulus of two If item mod 2 is equals to 0, then increment the even count. Even count plus equals to 1. So else what you do is increment the odd count. That means if this statement is false, so it comes over here to increment the even count that is plus equals to 1. So once the for loop exits, so we will be stored that these values that is a even count and odd count will be storing the that is a count of even and odd numbers so let's print this finally even count in series is let's give colon and here let's print the even underscore count and again print the odd count odd count in series is let's give colon and uh, let's use odd underscore count yeah so this is a complete program to ask the user to enter the series of numbers separated by comma and uh, find the even and odd count so let me execute this and let me show you how it works running the main so enter the series of numbers separated by comma so let's give 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5. So you can see even count in series is 2 because 2 and 4 are the even numbers and odd count in the series is 3. So you can see 1, 3 and 5 are odd numbers. So now let me re-execute. Enter the series of numbers separated by comma. So let's give 23, 45, 56, 
So you can see even count in series is 2, odd count in the series is 4. So let's try to count. 23 is uh, odd, 45 is odd, 77 is odd, and 99 is odd. And remaining 56 and 100 are even numbers. So now if uh, we ask a user to enter the series separated by space. So let's modify this. Take out the comma and use the space over here so let me run this program so enter the series of numbers separated by space so let's give 100 then 22 then 33 44 55 88 yeah so you can see even count in series is 4 and odd count is 2. That is odd count 33 and 55 are odd numbers. Yeah, so this is the method to ask a user to enter the series and then count. Also, you can initialize directly some tuple over here. So let me comment this and uh, let me show you how you can generally initialize series to a tuple series equals to let's use tuple over here 1 comma 2 3 4 and 5 so this is a direct i have initialized that is tuple to a series so let me execute this and let me show you how it works so you can see even count in the series is 2 and odd count in the series is 3 generally i have initialized in the program itself or if you want to ask user to enter the series so you can use this line or if you want it hard coded in your program so you can use the next line yeah so i'll give this code in the description that's it in this video hope you liked it thank you for watching bye